The climate is changing, and so is the world around us. As spring comes earlier and earlier every year, pests come out earlier too, and farmers have to fight to get pesticides to their fields and orchards in time to prevent these bugs from eating their crops. Dr. Greg Ragland is working at Kansas State University with funding from the National Science Foundation to help these farmers. He's studying one pest called the apple maggot fly to help farmers get the edge on the critters that eat their crops. This bug is particularly important because it has very recently evolved the ability to eat apples. It's literally a textbook example for, for evolution in action. It can be used to understand how other insects adapt to the changing seasons and predict when they'll come out of hibernation. He's helping build a model that would tell farmers when to apply pesticides to fight the fall insect invasion. You know, if you're a farmer and you want to apply a pesticide, you need to know when to do that. But there's another problem. As humans transport produce around the country, these bugs start to show up in new places they've never been found before. Washington State, which is a major producer of apples, now actively monitors for bugs they've never had to worry about before. Some orchards in Washington may even need to use drastic measures to fight the apple maggot flies. And they might actually uproot trees um, out on the extreme end. Those types of measures aren't cheap, but they're less expensive than losing an entire crop. That's why, economically speaking, it, it actually is an important pest, even though it's well controlled. So the next time you bite into a juicy, golden delicious or tart Granny Smith apple, enjoy it. Because if the bugs had their way, they would be enjoying it instead of you. <laughs>